Greetings and welcome to this informative briefing about the highly anticipated Aptera Solar Electric Vehicle, which is expected to begin manufacturing in 2024. What is the political spectrum facing Aptera's and other EV manufacturers' ongoing plans in the wake of the US presidential election, given that they have only recently completed their crowding? Leading candidates Biden and Trump each have opinions about the state of the EV business. And anything they say at this particular moment counts, even as EV manufacturers like Aptera continue to raise money to increase production of their first solar-powered car this year. Let's begin this briefing by discussing Aptera's success with crowd fundraising. Then, we'll look at the political positions that Republican and Democratic Party presidential candidates have taken that affect the EV auto industry and its patrons. Let's explore this in greater depth. Aptera Motors wants to utilize the enormous $33 million in investment it has raised to begin producing its first-of-its-kind solar electric vehicle this year. In January 2023, Aptera debuted the launch edition of its three-wheeled solar electric vehicle, but it acknowledged that additional funding was required to begin manufacturing. Subsequently, the company launched a crowdsourcing campaign, claiming to have raised over $2 million in the last few days. A chance to reserve one of Aptera's first 2,000 vehicle reservation slots is available to those who invest more than $10,000. But first, in order to help YouTube understand your preferences and allow you to receive new video updates whenever they are uploaded on this channel, if you're enjoying this content, please support this channel by liking and clicking the subscribe button below. Regards, now let's go on. Aptera announced in March 2023 that 100 and one of its solar-powered electric cars would be available for pre-order via sustainability sooner. The $3.35 million transaction is worth it. Originally, production was scheduled to begin before the end of 2023. The California Energy Commission, CEC, awarded the business a $21 million grant in March to help with the production of cars and component parts. However, the company has just announced that the initial phases of production will be funded by the recently acquired money. The last stage, according to the firm, is to generate money for the procurement of tooling and equipment for high-volume production after production-intent vehicles have been validated. There are many trailblazers, visionaries and people who question the status quo in the Aptera community, says Chris McCammon, the company's community and content manager. The few other solar EV firms vanished and other electric vehicle startups struggled during market downturns. We were aware it wasn't our tale. For the people, by the people, we are creating a solar-powered car with the support of our enthusiastic community. Aptera claims that the launch edition will provide 700 watts of solar power in addition to a 400-mile range. With the latter, the car should be able to use solar power to travel 40 miles a day approximately. However, Aptera's future trajectory is dependent on the direction US politics take, which might either promote or impede the electric vehicle industry. One of the biggest climate rules in American history was just released by the Biden administration this week. It calls for a majority of new passenger cars and light trucks sold in the country to be hybrids or all-electric, by 2032. The Environmental Protection Agency's new tailpipe emission regulations, which took nearly three years to develop, would revolutionize the US auto industry. Even while a record 1.2 million electric cars were sold last year, they only accounted for 7.6% of all automobile sales in the United States, well short of the 56% objective set by the new rule. Hybrids would account for an extra 16% of newly sales vehicles. Together, cars and other transportation devices account for the greatest amount of carbon emissions produced in the US, which fuels climate change and contributed to 2023 being the hottest year on record. President Biden's plan to combat global warming, which aims to reduce the country's emissions in half by the end of this decade, heavily relies on electric vehicles. However, EVs have also turned political and are a hot topic in the 2024 presidential contest. In a statement, Mr. Biden stated, three years ago, I set an ambitious target that half of all new cars and trucks sold in 2030 would be zero emission. 
we've achieved tremendous progress together. Hundreds of recently enlarged factories around the nation, thousands of well-paying union jobs, and hundreds of billions of dollars in private investment. And in the upcoming years, we'll accelerate toward my 2030 goal. In order for automakers to fulfill the rules, the rule gradually reduces the amount of pollution that can be released from tailpipes. By 2032, more than half of all new cars produced in the US will probably be zero emission vehicles. According to the EPA, that would prevent the emission of more than 7 billion tons of carbon dioxide during the following 30 years. That is the same as eliminating all of the greenhouse gases produced by the US, which historically has contributed the most carbon dioxide to the climate for a full year. The government estimated that the regulation would bring around $100 billion in net benefits to society annually, of which $13 billion would come from improved air quality and public health. According to the EPA, the requirements would also save the typical American driver over $6,000 in avoided fuel and maintenance costs over the course of a vehicle's life. Making the switch to electric vehicles will necessitate significant adjustments to labor, global trade, infrastructure, technology, production, and consumer behavior. It has also grown politically charged. During his campaign rallies, former President Donald J. Trump, who is running to unseat Joe Biden in November, has made a point of weaponizing electric vehicles by escalating his language and restating assertions about their pricing and performance. Most recently, he forewarned of a bloodbath while discussing electric cars. In opposition to what it refers to as Biden's EPA car ban, the lobbying group American Fuel and Petrochemical Manufacturers has launched what it claims is a seven-figure campaign of advertising, phone calls, and text messages in the swing states of Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Nevada, and Arizona, as well as in Ohio, Montana, and the Washington, D.C. market. The environmental agenda of the Biden administration is something that the soon-to-be-produced Aptar Solar EV should be closely monitoring. Reducing carbon. In order to reduce carbon dioxide emissions from heavy industries like steel, cement, chemicals and aluminum, all of which contribute significantly to global warming but are very challenging to clean up, the Biden administration intends to invest up to $6 billion in innovative technology. Gas permit pause. The Biden administration was sued by Louisiana and 15 other states, led by Republicans, for its decision to halt issuing new permits to companies that export liquefied natural gas. Tailpipe rule. One of the biggest climate laws in American history was released by the government. Its goal is to guarantee that by 2032, the majority of new passenger cars and light trucks sold in the country will be hybrids or entirely electric. Green economy. According to new data, the climate law that President Biden enacted in 2022 has established a sizable and expanding market for businesses to purchase and sell clean energy tax credits, giving startups the chance to obtain capital for initiatives like solar panel installations and wind farms. The EPA rule is not prohibited. Gas-powered automobiles and trucks are still allowed to be sold, and the sale of electric vehicles is not required. Instead, it mandates that automakers fulfill stringent new average emission standards for the entirety of their product range. The manufacturers will determine the best way to comply. The agency is authorized by the Clean Air Act to restrict the amount of pollution produced by the total number of automobiles sold annually. Automakers may meet the emissions limitations, according to EPA officials, by offering a variety of vehicles, including hybrids, electric cars, and automobiles that run on gasoline, as well as alternative fuels like hydrogen. The new rule would go into effect for the model year 2027, and would not apply to sales of old cars or light trucks. And with that, we wrap things up for the time being. I appreciate you creating some time to watch. I hope to see you here when the next video is uploaded.